let's talk about the anthropic principle. So it seems pretty lucky that we live in this universe because this universe allows us to exist. So what sorts of features make our universe hospitable to human life? Uh, I'll give you about a minute to think of some possibilities in the chat and then I'll tell you when to hit send. Very true. We've got dark matter that helps galaxies to form. Um, we can have atoms. That's a good, good thing. I guess we have matter instead of an equal amount of matter and antimatter. I think that's a pretty big deal just to have matter. Um, for us here, we're around a star that's not too hot, I guess. So we're in a hospitable zone. We're in a habitable zone of our galaxy. We're not too close to galactic center where we might be blasted by um, an active galactic nucleus from time to time. Um, yeah, the four forces have strengths that make it just right for all of this to be possible. And we seem to have the right matter and energy density for the universe not to have collapsed in on itself before it could start forming galaxies and solar systems and planets and us. So I came up with, well, the book came up with most of these, I guess, but you came up with them too. So there's all kinds of things that make our universe hospitable. We've got our dense regions, so we're forming galaxies and stars. If the density fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, right, if those were too big, then it could have been that there would be too much mass in each one. And so it would just collapse into a black hole directly instead of forming a galaxy first. And if those clumps of matter were too small, then it might be possible that you wouldn't have enough mass for galaxies to pull together. Um, because we have a critical density, the universe didn't collapse in on itself early on. And so we're still expanding. Um, and it also has not yet expanded to be an extremely low density, at least at the present time. So we've got a good balance between gravity and dark energy right now. Um, and then we also have a mix of many elements that's made possible by all the physical constants in this universe being just right. Um, if nuclear reactions happened a little bit faster, we might have formed all the way to iron at the beginning of the universe and then not formed stars to, for to fuse things. That would be a problem. And there's also some other things that, there's lots of other reasons that this universe is very hospitable for us. So um, it's kind of weird to think about this universe being just right and how did it reach, you know, why is it balanced in this perfect state that just seems to be just right for human life? Well, I guess we only see these conditions as favorable because we are here to appreciate them. If another universe existed or if this universe had different conditions that didn't make it hospitable for human life, then, that, then human life wouldn't be here to appreciate that universe or I guess be mad about that universe. So this is the only universe that we could live in. So we do live in it. Um, so that's called the anthropic principle. I guess it's kind of an extension of something we haven't really talked about much before, but the Copernican principle. So you might remember um, Nicholas Copernicus, Nikolai Copernicus um, was not the first to but was a, an important person for um, recognizing the heliocentric theory of our solar system, for noticing that the sun is at the center of the solar system and the earth goes around the sun rather than the other way around. And in the Copernican principle, um, the idea is that the earth is no longer the center of the universe, right? And the anthropic principle is kind of the farthest um, extension of that principle because it says, not only are we not central to our solar system, we're also not central to our galaxy. Our galaxy is not even special. It's just one of many galaxies. And the universe isn't really even that special. It's just the one we happen to live in. There's a, this whole theory about multiverses and you know, maybe there are other universes. Frankly, I don't think that the multiverse theories are um, testable. So it's not too scientific in my mind. It's more of a philosophic question than a scientific question. Um, Nevertheless, the anthropic principle just says, not only are we not special, but actually nothing is special. But in a way that makes everything more special because there's, there's no particular significance except the significance that we put on our universe. 